we've seen so much buzz this year around generative AI, and we can do lots of cool things by creating text, summarizing text with large language models. We can create images, but I'm most excited about kind of this next evolution of where we're going with generative AI, which is to say we can create full-on applications. And this is exactly what Softer is doing with its new AI app generator. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we're a Softer implementation partner. If you haven't gotten started with Softer before, you can do so with the affiliate link in the description below. That's going to take you to this AI app generator. And from here, we're going to be able to put in a prompt. Now, the thing I want to say here is there is a lot of AI happening in the website space, but this prompt isn't just generating a static website. We're not making an about page and a contact page and a landing page. Instead, software is able to be powered by a database. We can create business logic. We can have user authentication. We can have different actions that users take. And that's what makes this a full web application, not just a website builder. And so we have some different options to choose from. Do we want to build a client portal where we have our clients log into an application and access some information? Or maybe we're using it for internal tooling like project management or inventory management. So as we toggle between these, it's actually going to give us some sample prompts. If you just want to experiment for the first time, actually, if I toggle back, it's going to come up with a new prompt each time, which is pretty cool as we're doing a demo here. But you can really tailor this prompt around the needs of your business or organization. So let's do this, a client portal where utility customers can review monthly bills, process payments, and observe their consumption history. I like it. Let's go ahead and click the preview button here. It's going to take a couple minutes as it spins through and this has already come up with an app name for us. This is Build Navigator. What we can do right here is change how we want our theme to look. So retro, playful, modern. This is going to change our color scheme here. Let's go ahead and do a modern one, and we'll do that. Yeah, I like the orange color there. Let's generate our app. This will generate our application based off of all the pieces that we need to make this function. Our app's now ready, so let's click to see it in action. This is going to open up our preview screen here so we can see our personal utility hub. It's generated an image for us already. We can see our little logo and word mark up there. We've got a button to access our account, so that'll be interesting to see what it looks like when we're logged in as one of our users. But we probably want to customize this further, so let's go ahead and click the button to customize our app. And now we're in Softer's Studio, their back end, where we can actually change the pages and the functionality of how our web application functions. The first thing that I want to do is set up our users. So I'm going to click on our users over here, and we're going to sync this with a data source where we have to choose something that's going to be essentially our database in the back end. In this case, I'm going to add a new data source. And what this is going to do is it's going to actually spin up the tables or the sheets that we need to power our application. Right now in its first iteration, this is working for Google Sheets, but eventually this is going to work for Airtable as well, where it can actually generate the tables that you need for your application. So let's go ahead and click for Google Sheets. I'm going to authenticate with my account here, and this will create our spreadsheet that we need. We can press continue to copy our data, and now this has created some test users for me. If I click into my Google Drive, I can see the different tables or the different sheets that it's created on our behalf. So this has not only created the structure of what we need with the different fields that we have, but it's also added in some dummy data, which makes this useful to be able to see as we're working on our web application. Back in software, I can click on our user groups and I can see that this has actually generated two different user groups, our clients and our managers, which means that we can assign these different user roles to our users and then be able to have that drive different functionality. Maybe only clients can access certain pages, but managers can actually create records. And so throughout our application, we can add the different permissions that we need. Let's check out the pages this is created for us. So I'll click on pages and I can see that we've got our consumption history, which is gonna be a table of all the usage for our clients, just like we described in our prompt. We have our standard screens like forgot a password, a form, and our homepage. We can see the monthly bills that our clients need to keep track of and some information about user profiles and our utility customers. If we click into any one of these, we can see how this is actually rendered on the screen. So for our consumption history, we have a table that's here and we can click if we wanna make changes to the fields that actually display here. But this looks pretty good for us only putting in a single prompt to actually generating all of the pages plus the table data that we need is pretty great.
So in software, I have the ability to preview this as different users. We're able to impersonate them. So I've logged in as Carly, and we can see that now that I'm a logged in user, we get this nice welcome message. It's identifying us by name. Right off the bat, we're able to see our utility customers. We've got the option to add customers here. So this opens up a modal, a form for us where we can add new information and make that really easy. Maybe we need to edit some information about a customer. They call in and they give us an update to their information. We could edit that, make changes that we need to. And remember, all of this data then syncs back to Google Sheets automatically. So we don't have to do anything with Zapier or Make. This is all of an automated process. Let's say I need to add a new bill for my customer. I can click on the navigation to add a new monthly bill. This opens up a form and I can submit that. We can click on consumption history and see this by our different customers that we have. We could edit their information. And again, all of this was generated from that single prompt. So it's not to say that we won't have edits and changes that we need to make. You can check out some of our other videos on how we can actually edit using the software interface. But this saves so much time rather than having to configure all of those different screens. Because again, look at these pages here. These were all generated from a single prompt rather than having to construct each one manually. I hope you're as excited as I am about all the possibilities of what we can do with this AI generation to create our apps inside of software. If you haven't gotten started, you can do so using the link in the description below.